looked at this problem right here. You wanted to create an, an you wanted to draw an angle that represents five fourths pi or five pi over four. Okay, so what you would do is you would drag this uh, red dot and you drag it along until it was at five pi over four. Is that gonna which quadrant is that gonna be in? Five pi over four. Okay, it's gonna go past four pi over four, right? Which is right here. And then it's gonna go one more pi over four. Pi over four was what fraction? 45, so it's gonna go all the way to here. So you're gonna place your point right here. So this right here would represent your five pi over four. Now it's also gonna ask you to drag these uh, blue dots. And I'll show you with a an actual problem here in a second, but the blue dots are gonna move. And so if you want to find the reference angle, you're gonna slide this blue dot here all the way to this same point. <coughs> and then there's gonna be another blue dot that you'll mark to the x-axis. And so this is what your answer for the reference angle should look like. And it should, I think it's gonna show this whole angle here. So that's the angle that you're going to uh, drag for your reference angle. And then the measure of your reference angle is gonna be in terms of whatever measure they give you. So if it gave you radians, you'll use that. If it gave you degrees, you'll use that. So here uh, for radians, what fraction of a radian is gonna be our reference angle? We go backwards, pi over four. Okay, and so that's how you would be filling those pieces out. And let me show you on an actual, uh, at this problem right here. So it wants you to uh, drag the red angle or arc to show two pi over three. So we're gonna s notice again how it kind of lightens up when I hover over it. So I'm gonna hover over my red and I'm gonna put two pi over three is gonna be in which quadrant? So right here, right? So this is my two pi over three. And then my blue, I'm gonna move as my reference angle. Well, so notice when I start moving this blue dot, I'm moving one end of it. I'm gonna put that end at the x-axis and then I'm gonna move the other end. So now this blue arc and angle represent my reference angle, correct? And then my final step is to fill in what's the measure of this reference angle. And it's gonna be what? Pi over three, right? Because I had one pi over three, two pi over three, that leaves pi over three left. And then uh, I can submit my answer and I get confirmation that I got the right answer. Okay. All right, so in the first one, 75 degrees, my angle, I'm gonna move here is 30, 45, 60, and then another 15. So there's my 75 degree. And then my uh, reference angle, I'm just gonna pull that out here and it's gonna be that same thing. So in quadrant one, the reference angle is the same as the original angle. And so that will be 75 degrees. Okay, if I move down to uh, my other radian measurement, uh, 19, 19 pi over 12. So again, if I'm thinking in terms of twelfths, I have 24 pi over 12 is my full rotation. So if I go backwards uh, from 25 or 24 back to 19, I'm gonna move five of these 15 degrees. So I'm gonna move one, two, three, four, five. So when I write my original angle, it's gonna go from here all the way to here. So there's my uh, 19 pi over 12. And then my uh, reference angle is just gonna be from here to here. Okay, it's the remaining, the acute angle from the terminal side back to my x-axis. <clears throat> and then for my last example here, 300 degrees, takes me all the way to uh, this angle right here. So here's 300 degrees as far as that rotation. <clears throat> Therefore, my reference angle is gonna be from that terminal side back to the x-axis. 
reference angle from here is, again, if you think about going from 19 to 2 pi, in terms of 12 is 24, right? So how many, uh, how many pi over 12s do I add to go from 19 to 24? Yep, so this would be 5 pi over 12. And then from here, moving from 300 to 360 is 60 degrees. And that would give me my reference angle.